What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about the I Know What You Did Last Summer Legacy sequel here in this video here today. So Sarah Michelle Gellar, who we know starred in the first film as Helen Shivers, the final girl that almost was. God rest her soul. She gave us one of the best chase scenes before she exited. She has made some comments to people talking about her unofficial job title as it pertains to this upcoming film since her best friend Jennifer Caden Robinson is going to be at the helm. She confirmed something we already knew to be true as it pertains to her returning or not returning. She said, I am dead. She said, referring to her character, Helen Shivers, who died in the 1997 horror film. She went on to say she will still play a small part, even if it's just behind the scenes and unofficial. She said, my best friend, Jennifer Caden Robinson, is directing it. So we joke that I have an unofficial job, which is I am continuity. So I'm always the one telling her, well, that wouldn't happen or that that would happen or that wouldn't happen with these characters so i do kind of have an unofficial job title so short sweet and simple my thoughts on that are that's nice because at least someone is close to jennifer who was involved with that first film who can tell her what to do with these characters what not to do with these characters granted i'd imagine she's not only going to sarah she's obviously going to the ones that are in talks to return she's going to uh freddie who we know is already signed She's going to Jennifer, who we know is still in negotiations, apparently, and figuring out how to utilize these characters in the best way all this time later. So that way it doesn't feel like a complete 360 and nothing like the people we met in the first film. Yes, growth happens over time, but the growth shouldn't be so unrecognizable. Like you shouldn't be a completely new person. Not entirely. Some remnants of who you once were <laughs> should still be there. And if you just come off like a complete 360, then you've done a disservice to the characters. Now, I've talked about all the rumored plot details. We know that Julie herself is supposed to be very crucial to the story in an era of social media. Who is Julie James? And we're going to explore that. I'm still waiting to see like the rest of you how julie is even important to this story because they have a stacked set of newcomers who they need to focus on you need to lean on them more than the legacy stars it's already being made clear that the legacy stars aren't even going to be the leads they're just going to be supporting more than anything because it's going to be in the same vein of scream 2022 so i'm just waiting to see how are these legacy stars going to be used are they going to be used in a crucial capacity are they going to be used in a non-crucial capacity and you're just trying to get us in there for nostalgia purposes if so doesn't need to happen and I know what you did last summer movie at this stage in the game would be appreciated, even if it didn't have the legacy stars, as long as it's in the same universe, as long as it's ignoring that third film, as long as it's better than that third film. I think many people who are a fan of the franchise would be fine with it. So if the legacy stars are tacked on, then I, I would say you probably should have got rid of them. If it comes off like they were tacked on, you shouldn't have even had them to begin with. Hopefully there's something of, of substance to everyone, including Carla, because again, Carla is who I'm really the most concerned with because from what Brandy has stated to what has transpired since then it would it would appear that Carla wasn't even in the room for potential returns or wasn't even on the table for a potential return that's just from observing what we know to, from the public and what everything and with everything that's come out from the parties involved with the film Brandy didn't know about the project Jennifer started following Brandy they're supposed to be having some sort of meeting probably already happened and now we're just waiting to see what's going to happen with Carla but going off of that it didn't seem like Carla was even in the writing process so it's like well why put Carla in now whatever but it's nice that Sarah Michelle Gellar is going to be helping her friend or at least guide her in the right direction when it comes to how to present these legacy stars all these years later and maybe just maybe even though she's saying she's dead there's always the chance that Sarah's going to star in this film. Like I said before, being dead in movies doesn't mean you can't appear. You can return. Jamie Kennedy, of course, was in all three screen movies, died in the second one. And Sarah Michelle Gellar can be in this I Know What You Did Last Summer film as long as it's something that preserves her kill. It can be a flashback sequence of sorts. Not even a flashback sequence because we probably have to worry about how to de-age everybody. But just fantasizing something in Julie's mind or visualizing a fantasy in which she's thinking about what would my life be like if my friends never died and if they all were alive. And then you get to see Sarah Michelle Gellar all these years later and she doesn't have to worry about having anything de-aged. And it's just a visual of Julie imagining things if her friends didn't die. 
that could be an easy way to get Helen back on your screen, even if it's just for 10 seconds. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.